Hey, what's up guys? It's Augur with Parts Online Network here with you guys for another Tech Tip Tuesday that is long overdue for some time now. So today we, well we, as in me, I'm gonna show you how to remove a driver's side steering wheel airbag from an O between an 04 to 08 Dodge Ram. Uh, it's pretty simple. All you're gonna need is a 10 millimeter uh, ratchet well, socket and a pair of needle nose pliers to make it easier to grab the connectors out. So we are going to head over to one of the cars outside. It's pretty hot. So I do this for you guys um, and I'll show you how to take that out right now. So we're going over there right now. Hey, all right, so we're here at the truck. It's a little bright out. So I'm gonna show you on how to take the airbag out. It's very simple. You don't have to disc any, uh, disconnect anything from the steering column. You just have to turn the steering wheel, which will be fun. <laughs> And there's literally a 10 millimeter bolt right here. And on the other side is another 10 millimeter bolt. I'll show you one. Um, uh, it's gonna be a little visually easier because we actually have a whole steering wheel off and I'll show you where those holes are at. You literally just disconnect those two, uh, the horn connector and the connectors to the airbag, and that'll be it. But safety is always first. So we're gonna make sure that we disconnect the battery. So you guys always do that. I'm gonna have Andy here hold the camera while I disconnect the battery. Ah, okay. And just, and just for a good measure, we're gonna make sure this doesn't come back on while I'm in there. So this is how you take care of your battery when you wanna make sure you disconnect it. Don't do that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I'm gonna show you right here. It's literally just the two bolts and that's it. So I'm gonna, oh, there's a lantern flying on the back of my neck. Can you see that? Can you see that guys? I don't know. Flick it, maybe. Oh, it's on my shirt. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put the camera right here, show you guys exactly how quick it is. So I'm gonna show you the remainder of this on the inside and you'll literally see how easy it is, but literally one bolt here, one bolt here, connector for the horn and the two connectors to the airbag. So we're gonna go there right now. All right, guys, now we're back inside. I have a steering wheel that's already disconnected and pulled out of the car, so I'll be able to show you the bolts a lot easier here. But I'm gonna pass it off to Andy real quick so he can let you explain to you why you would actually need to take off your airbag because it seems like something you just wouldn't need to do, but it's actually fairly common. How's it going, everybody? So, reasons you would be taking off your driver's side airbag. There are a lot of electronics behind that airbag. For example, you may need to remove it to replace a faulty cruise control switch. The screws are hidden behind the airbag. You may also need to replace one of your faulty steering wheel audio control switches. Also, access is from behind the airbag. Or maybe your horn doesn't work. You might also need to replace your clock spring. All of that is behind this airbag. So it's not just replacing the airbag, it's fixing all those other items that are held behind the airbag. Back to Augie. God, that was painful, again. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you right now, again, we're gonna need our trusty 10 mil. We can put the steering wheel this way. So now you'll be able to see that I can pull the airbag out. So right here, as you can see, let me see if I can move this over a little bit. Boom. So these are the three spots that you'll have access to. Right here uh, is the horn controls and these are the two, uh, the ground and power that go to the airbags. A little better. Right there, you're gonna have this little clip. That little clip right there, you're gonna have to push in and then it'll pull out. So I'll show you that right now. So just push that in. See, pulls out. And right here, if I can zoom in a little bit, right there, there's a little clip on each side of the connectors. So you just take a pair of needle noses, grab and pull, grab and pull. And that's it. You now have the airbag from your 04 to 08 Dodge Ram removed. And like I said, you would use that technique to fix any of the things or diagnose any of the things that Andy just told you about earlier. Um, and literally just putting it back in, you're gonna put the two connectors back into the airbag, reconnect your horn wire, put it back in, two bolts, everything snugged up, batteries back on, and you're back on the road with whatever your possible problem was fixed. 
So that is the end of the video. Uh, I hope that helped you. If you know anybody that ever needs information on the Dodge Ram trucks and if they possibly need something for the airbag, show them this video. Tell them how to remove it. So that'll be it, guys. Talk to you later. Until the next video. I lied, I'm back. So we actually have a special offer for anyone watching this video, share, do whatever you want. If you use the code AIRBAGS, you know, A-I-R-B-A-G-S, you will receive 10% off any of your orders on usepartsonlinenetwork.com. And that will be good till next week. So if you needed to get something for your Dodge Ram SRT10 or anything in our used inventory, use the product, or use the coupon code AIRBAGS and you're gonna get 10% off. That's a little thank you for you guys watch, watching our videos, commenting and sharing. I'm sorry, it's hot. I don't know if you can see all the sweat on my face. But yeah, so coupon code airbags on usepartsonlinenetwork.com. I will put the website right here and talk to you later.